Good morning. It's Friday, January 31st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Widows, Orphans, and Strangers, and our scripture is Deuteronomy chapter 24. True justice must be given to foreigners living among you and to orphans, and you must never accept a widow's garment as security for her debt. Always remember that you were slaves in Egypt and that the Lord your God redeemed you from your slavery. That is why I've given you this command. When you're harvesting crops and forget to bring in a bundle of grain from your field, don't go back and get it. Leave it for the foreigners, orphans, and widows. Then the Lord your God will bless you in all you do. When you beat the olives from your olive trees, don't go over the boughs twice. Leave the remaining olives for the foreigners, orphans, and widows. When you gather the grapes in your vineyard, don't glean the vines after they are picked. Leave the remaining grapes for the foreigners, orphans, and widows. Remember that you were slaves in the land of Egypt. That is why I am giving you this command. If I were left in charge of gathering the harvest of grapes, olives, or grain, it's a certainty they wouldn't be much left after the fields had been picked. There's something in my soul of a waste-not-want-not mantra that cannot be denied. If there's a crust of bread left in last week's loaf, this week's new loaf cannot be opened in our home under penalty of the Russell stare of intimidation. In our household, you just do not waste anything. There are a lot of moving parts to the issue of the displaced, misplaced, and wandering homeless among us. I personally do not have political programs worked out to solve the dilemma of all who suffer the crushing blows that make life crumble. That said, there is a principle contained in these very specific commands of Moses, and that principle is kindness over greed. The principle becomes easier to understand and apply when we put faces on the words. When one is greedy, the face that's projected on those who are in need is that of greed. A person saturated with goods and self only sees the other who wants what he has. A person who is kind understands the face of hunger, homelessness, and fading hope. Thinking of the harvest, which was the basis of economics in Moses' day, Deuteronomy instructs us to be generous with those who have no part, no place, and hardly a reason to smile. The perfect example of this principle of those who have plenty, being kind enough to share with those who have little to nothing at all, is seen in the incarnation of Jesus Christ. God, who has everything, not only died for us on the cross, but did so after joining us in our humanity. That humanity had no claim on anything of goodness. We had evil as our legacy. That humanity had no place to call home. We didn't belong in heaven, and our earth had been cursed by our sin and selfishness. That humanity had no plea for how we got in that condition. We chose our sin and separation from God. Humanity, you and I and all, were without. We were lost and undone. We were without strength or hope. We were the widows of our dying selves. We were the orphans of self-inflicted ignorance. We were the strangers of even who we are, aliens in our own skins. And he joined us. For you today, it's been said that evangelism is one beggar telling another where he's found bread. For the helpless, homeless, and hopeless among us, they must never become them or those people. We must be one widow, orphan, or stranger showing another where there's kindness. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.